Yazin is not, uh, you know, shouting. It, it's recorded on a tape, and, and then they have these giant loud speakers, and uh, they, they are starting in 5.30 in the morning. So when every decent human being is, is sleeping and, and preparing for the day. So it, 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 is, it is a living hell living here. And with all this unemployment rate of 30%, we are a basket case, a failed country. Oh, my God. Like, like Bulgaria, Greece, Serbia, Bosnia, all these countries are. Well, God bless you, brother. Powerful information. And again, folks, there's a lot of non-radical Muslim countries that just want freedom and good future for their kids. The problem is, just as the Colonel Salem said yesterday, the problem is the West and the UN are funding this sickening fusion of socialist UN commie, gangbang, mac daddy, gangster rap, Arab jihadi. And I don't care if they're Chechen jihadis or they're Macedonian jihadis or they're Kosovo jihadis or they're New York jihadis or London jihadis or Syrian jihadis or Iranian jihadis. They're all funded by Saudi Arabia and protected. And the welfare system of the world's been told, you green light, and these people go to the head of the line. They don't get searched at the airport. That's come out in the news. Nothing. They are God. Because they're the detonator to bring in the police state. And they, just, just Europe is being turned over. And then they come and bully on the streets of... New York, London, you name it, the other Muslims into doing what they're told. It's basically mafia. Humans organize themselves into mafia. Whenever folks say, you know, it's the Catholic Church or it's the Jews or it's the Masons that run everything, you know what it is? It's criminal gangs that take over Jewish organizations. It's gangs that take over the Islamic organizations. It's gangs that take over the Catholic organizations. You'll find it's gangs that use gang psychology. Russia's basically run by former KGB that set up a gang and made themselves oligarchs. I don't want government by gang. I want government by the republic, by freedom, by due process, where the people are organized to defend basic freedoms so that no gang can get together and overthrow that. That creates prosperity. But yeah, there's a worldwide Jewish mafia involved in derivatives and all sorts of scams. Very powerful, trying to erode free speech here in the United States and Europe so that nobody can criticize what they're doing. But the average Jew doesn't even understand that or know that. There is a Catholic, several Catholic mafias, actually several Jewish mafias, they kill each other constantly. So that's another reason about just bashing Israel mindlessly. There's like five different groups, two major power groups, killing each other constantly, indicting each other. It's just... The Catholic Church is probably seven or eight different groups. The CIA is seven or eight different groups. The NSA is three different groups. It just doesn't work like that. The FBI is at least three different groups. And, 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 and then now you got to add gay groups to it because gay groups seem to organize into gangs with their own neighborhoods and their own whatever. I'm not against gay people, but I'm not in your gang. And, and if I was gay, I shouldn't be forced into your gang. You know, that's another thing. Or I shouldn't be forced into your Protestant gang that I've got to bash Catholics all day or I'm going to hell. I just don't want to be in your clubs. I don't want to be in your gangs. I want to promote freedom, private property. I can be religious or not be religious. I get to raise my kids as I see fit. I can do whatever I want as long as I don't get in your business. You understand that? The police tend to turn into gangs. And when a police department acts like a gang, you got a problem. When they don't, you got a good police department. Gangs are our problem. And you look at these jihadis worldwide, they'll have their drawers hanging down over their butts. They'll be, you know, doing the OG walk. I mean, it's just sick. I'm sick of it. The, the, the whole gangster rap culture was created by the globalist on record to, to totally screw up communities and to spread like a disease. It is a disease. It's a gang culture brewed in prison mixed with rap to make kids think it's cool. It's prison music to get your kids ready to be inducted into prison. Just like these jihadis are all out of prison.
And then they want to be somebody, so they go out and kill some people at a newspaper to show how big they are because they're so miserable. We'll be back with more of your calls. Stay with us. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even those sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you're you're defenseless. defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24/7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's simplysafedefense.com. We all have our own idea about what being safe and secure means. The doors lock, bills are paid, you've got a job that keeps the lights on, and a home to call your own. But what happens when Mother Nature throws a curveball? I'm telling you, yes, take cover. Take cover. Are you prepared to live without electricity or passable roads for weeks at a time? Do you even have a plan B? If you do, are you willing to bet your life on it? Children left with no homes. And no one's coming to help them. Help them. The first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to MyPatriotSupply.com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48 states. Call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today or visit us at mypatriotsupply.com remember before it's time to survive it's time to prepare what good is a big berkey water filter we get that question a lot here at big berkey water filters.com and in a word the answer is protection protection from water main breaks e coli contamination environmental chemical spills pesticide runoff chlorine taste and smell and all forms of fluoride plus big berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason tested by multiple independent nsf epa certified labs they are the gold standard in water purification at only 1.7 cents a gallon a single set of filters can last for five to ten years that means big savings big berkey the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water get a big berkey today at big berkey water filters.com gcn listeners receive five percent off all ceramic filter systems visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY that's 877-99-BERKEY big berkey water filters for the love of clean water Hey everyone, I'm having lots of fun with my new Ghost 80% AR-15. This baby shoots like a dream. Hey, thanks Guns80.com. You know, friends ask me all the time why I wanted a Ghost AR-15. That's easy. You see, my buddy Mark kept telling me that I'd better go to Guns80.com to get myself a Ghost AR-15 before they outlawed them. I thought he was just paranoid, so I ignored it. Well, at first. But then I started hearing government media types talking about making guns illegal about the president signing on to a U.N. treaty that could take my gun rights away. You know, it really bugged me. So I dug in, I did the research, and I realized that Mark was right all along. I know now that having an unregistered Ghost AR-15 is the right answer. I'm a proud 80% Ghost AR-15 convert. You should be, too. The answer is really simple. Get your Ghost AR-15 at guns80.com. The big sale is on. Right now, go to guns80.com. That's guns80.com. Guns80. The number's 80.com. Not satire. Fox News calls for, quote, over militarization of police, an extremely powerful report from InfoWars Nightly News last night. We're going to air coming up in the next segment. Right now, we need to race through your phone calls here. Manuel is in Queens, New York. He's watching a live Spanish news site. We're pulling it up right now. He says it's reporting the brothers are not dead. Yeah, two hours ago, they were reporting the brothers were dead. No hostages killed. Then an hour ago, they reported that... Uh, 
the, that one of the gunmen was dead, the other one wasn't, and four hostages were dead. It just goes on and on. So they're changing the story constantly. Uh, Manuel, your point on that. Yeah, how you doing? Well, basically, I'm watching it right now, and they're saying that Oland is he has a team in the ministry, and they're talking about negotiations with the terrorists. I'm watching live footage from the north of France, and they have a whole bunch of team, uh, police police uh, response team units there surrounded the whole entire town. The mayor has the town on lockdown. Nobody could come out. They're all locked in their houses. Everything is locked down in the town. Man, I'm not bragging, but if there were terrorists across the street, I'd grab my M4, grab the guys, and go over and attack them. I mean, how many thousands of police and military does it take to kill two scumbags? I mean, I just, I mean, back at UT, when the shooter started attacking, citizens pulled their guns out, started shooting, and it was a citizen that climbed up with a local cop and took him out. It was a citizen who pulled the trigger and shot him first with a shotgun. I mean, that's a fact. I'm not here shooting my mouth off. I mean, I just cannot believe all this groveling, like shutting Boston down for one teenager. Remember that? I yeah. think it's so they can cover up what's really going on. What do you think? I'm pretty sure that there's something different going on than what they're reporting to us and telling us. You know, I'm a first-time caller, by the way. I listen to your show every single day. Um, I'm, you're 100% you're, you're accurate. Um, but, yeah, in this situation right here, definitely people should, you know, there's got to be gun. Well, didn't you say that in France there's no more gun ownership? So, you know, there's probably no gun owners in the area. They don't have weapons with them. But, yeah, um, you know, I'm pretty sure. That, I don't know what how accurate their reporting is, but like I said, it's live. It's live footage. They, they have the police there surrounding the town. You well, know, Buckley, um, my cousin, speaks fluent Spanish, so he's on it in there watching the feed right now. We'll uh, confirm your report. I believe it, but we're going to check into it, and we'll get some clips from that if we can. Thank you so much for the call, Manuel. Uh, let's go to Tex in Michigan. Tex in Michigan, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Good, sir. Go ahead. Um, I know you are not got a lot of time, so I'm not going to waste it. Uh, I'm uh, 23 years old from Michigan. I live in southeast Michigan, Metro Detroit area. Uh, I worked at the Ford Mustang plant. I was at the Ford. Uh, awesome. Obama was actually at the Wayne. Yeah, he was at the Wayne, uh, at the Wayne assembly plant actually on Wednesday. But I'm sure he wasn't there to talk about, you know, putting boxes in our cars or shutting out our power plants. So, no. Uh, what I was going to say is, uh, with this Paris situation, I'm not really like a Wayne Madsen or a, or a, a Steve Pachenik, but um, what I think about is if we already have a huge... Uh, Islam, the uh, Arabic population here in the Metro Detroit, uh, a city called Dearborn. And a lot of them are refugees from Iraq and uh, Afghanistan and stuff like that. And I think that this terrorist attack was basically a message from the elitist, a reminder, if you will, like, hey, you know, ISIS is still here. We're still here. Still be afraid. You know, don't forget about ISIS. You guys got all caught up in the election, but don't forget ISIS is still here. Uh, to come into your house and kill you. So... Well, also think about that. It also sends an uh, inspiration, if you will, like a message uh, to Islam, people of Islam, you know, the younger generation. I'm, I'm 23 years old. I mean, I, I also listen to gangster rap, and I, and I know that that's uh, if you're true, it's true. I actually make hip hop music about about waking up. About well, I'm not saying hip hop or rap itself is bad. I'm saying the gangster type is being pushed by the system and tends to then meld with this certain criminal type. It's like saying most mass shooters are shoot 'em up video game heads. It's not saying mass shooting g games themselves make you a killer. It's that they help trigger with the right kind of MO psychology. Then they can be a problem with those type people. I really appreciate your call. It's like most folks can have a few drinks here and there and not become alcoholics, but some people do. I want to go to John in Texas. I want to go to Kevin in Nova Scotia when we come back. Betsy, Jim, Adam, John, Matt, and others. When I'm done with those calls, we will get into the other news, and there is a lot of it that I need to get to. Uh, briefly, the French president is going to make another statement here, they say in the next 30 minutes or so. So maybe we'll hear the official story. You know, there's an old British saying, how do you know something's true when it's officially denied? So we're going to see what this liar, who has his own private Swiss bank account, but wants the public to pay 100% taxes, I'm not kidding, you then get it back quoted services and they run your life. We're going to see what this known crook who's being criminally investigated for scores of different offenses uh, has to say. 
And the reason I mention that is I don't believe a word comes out of this neo-Soviet dirtbag. We're on the mark.